Why is Brexit important? Because people voted for it. That's how democracy works. How shocking, therefore, that a Conservative government that delivered the will of the people and got Brexit done should be the ones to potentially reverse it. The Sunday Times, in a brilliant piece of journalism, report that senior government figures are planning to put Britain on the path towards a Swiss-style relationship with the European Union. Switzerland has access to the European single market through a series of bilateral agreements. However, the model also involves more liberal EU migration and payments to the EU budget. Sound familiar? With the bloc in recent years also pushing for the European Court of Justice to have greater oversight in the Swiss-EU relationship. Even the free movement of people is not off the table. Far be it from me to raise the alarm about what looks like a subtle and insidious attempt to get us back into the bloc by using the snake oil language of unfettered access and frictionless trade. Not everything that glitters is gold. And it's very much the view of the godfather of Brexit himself, the man who really moved the dial in those negotiations with Brussels, Lord David Frost. He's not having it. Last night, as reported by the Sunday Times, he said any approach requiring the UK to align with EU rules to get trade benefits, whether as part of a Swiss style approach or any other, would be quite unacceptable. He goes on, Boris Johnson and I fought very hard to avoid any such requirements in 2020 and ensure the UK could set its own laws and we should not contemplate giving this away in the future. What a hero. Unlike many Remainers, in 2016, I instantly accepted the result, as any Democrat should. And it seems like I've got a better idea of how Brexit works, even better than many Brexiteers, including the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who appears to be wobbling on this issue. Well, he needs to give his head a wobble. If the PM reverses Brexit by stealth in this way, the Tories won't just be out of power for a generation they will be finished altogether. Sunak will be sunk. Rishi will be swimming with the fishies. The whole point of Brexit is you go hard or you go home. It's all or nothing. Brexit is about control of our money, our borders, our courts and our trade. You can't have a half Brexit in the same way that you can't be half pregnant or half drunk. If we're going to do Brexit... It's got to be the whole thing. The big kahuna, the full English, a full fat, red blooded, carnivorous Brexit. Not Brexit in name only, which makes a mug of anyone that voted for it and which dilutes the colossal opportunities that Brexit brings. I've been willing to tolerate Thursday's particularly unconservative budget, which will deepen the recession in the hope that the tough economic medicine currently being administered now will facilitate tax cuts and a more competitive economy in the medium to long term. I know many Conservative supporters hated the autumn statement and they felt that it could have come from the pen of Keir Starmer. But fiscal prudence is enough of a selling point to keep me on board at this stage. But I'm not having a Brexit U-turn because this is about the only thing the Tories can hang on to as their support collapses across the country. They were at least the party to get us out. But if they renege on this and allow Britain to sleepwalk back into the bosom of Brussels, they will be out too. Out of sorts, out of order and out of power. EU turn if you want to. This presenter's not for turning.